part is like this. Uh, we are fitting this trolley according to the uh, I beam size, beam size of the uh, girder or the train. And uh, what we are measuring this beam size. And after measuring this beam size, we will adjust the washer of the trolley that can be a push pull trolley or that can be gear trolley or that can be a electric trolley. The, 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 the features are same. We have this idle washer outside. That idle washers are uh, adjusted both sides equal washers such that the beam size of the particular beam that should be at least 4 to 5 mm clearance for running the trolley uh, freely on the island. And uh, that's how we are erecting these hoists. After erection of the hoists, we are uh, adjusting this, uh, we are fitting this uh, chain collector and adjusting the load shape, uh, the limit switches of the hoist. And that lower limit switches, limit switches are adjusted so that the, uh, this bottom of the first washer, first washer should be 2 to 3 links down the uh, hoist and your, this, we have this lower block and this lower block is going up to the top, uh, uh, top side that, that should, uh, this uh, this should be 3 to 4 inches uh, down the uh, hoist and our, we will adjust this limit switch so that this, uh, uh, this lower prop is firstly actuated with the limit switch and so that even the lower, uh, lower most position also the, that can be adjusted according to your lift of the hoist. I know this is a chain electric hoist SC model has various capacities up to uh, 250 kg to 6 ton capacity. We have uh, SC2 model, SC3 model, SC4 model, SC5 model and SC6 model. All these models covers all these capacities uh, with the various speeds, the standard speed, speed for low, uh, the low speed that is 4 meters per minute and the high speed is the 8 meters per minute. Accordingly, we have this uh, here uh, uh, VM drive. Drive is fitted inside the panel and if the, if the double speed hoist, yeah, double speed is required, that can be adjusted uh, with the help of the drive that one can be the so, uh, slower speed and other can be the uh, required double speed that is to be that is to be adjusted with the drive and that that facility is provided as per the requirement of the customer and as per the order of the customer that can be adjusted that is that feature is uh, there inside the hoist also now while operating we have to take care that your load should be vertical uh, loading should be there. There we, we cannot uh, do the angular pulling of the load. Angular pulling is not allowed. If the angular pulling is done, then the chain guide of the hoist will get damaged or overriding of the chain will be there and that will damage the part of the hoist it may strike also and motor will burn. So, one has to take care that the vertical loading should be there. There should not be any angular loading or uh, use the chain carefully that this chain should be lubricated. We can lubricate the, the this chain with the help of uh, low viscosity, uh, viscosity oil that can be put inside the chain collector. And uh, we have to take care that the load which we, uh, we are lifting that should be not more than the rated capacity. 
the hoist is tested for the 25% overload in the in our uh, oil manufacturing and but it is not allowed to lift the load for the rated capacity more, more than the rated capacity actually we have adjusted the load also because we have the overload clutch system inside the hoist if uh, we are adjusting it for one ton capacity if we leave, uh, lift more than one ton capacity in that case your load will slip because of overload clutch and that time you you have to check your load so what is the load you have uh, mounted that is that is not it is uh, more than the, it is exceeding so you have to limit the load and if it is not lifting that particular load if it is more than the rated capacity and if you are tightening the clutch that is not correct and that clutch system will not work and this load block will hit the body of the hoist and that will uh, damage the hoist even your uh, gears will also get damaged so we have to take care while operating the hoist and we have this electric trolley system and then electric trolley we have the pendant for operating the chain electric hoist we have this pendant system this is an electrical pendant pendant we have uh, if it is a electric trolley then we have this uh, four way pendant and we, if we have the double speed hoist we have this uh, 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 six way pendant now if the, it is uh, the gear trolley or push pull trolley it is two way pendant now we have this this is upper uh, hoisting this is hoisting one this is uh, down direction this is the cross direction and this is another cross direction so this is how this is this is the pendant and this is the emergency stop this red button is the emergency stop while lifting some obstacle is there or some emergency occurs in that case well, we have to just press this button then uh, that application uh, will be stopped so, we uh, after uh, the mounting of the hoist commissioning of the hoist we will start the hoist we, we will give the supply to the uh, uh, check uh, this control panel and the supply after giving the supply we will uh, put the socket on the, the main supply and after putting the main supply we will check the direction of the uh, hoist uh, whether it is the correct direction or the wrong direction if the direction is not correct this if we are uh, just take the finger we are given the uh, main supply to the hoist now we will check the direction of the hoist that means the when we will push the upward uh, hoisting uh, button that should uh, uh, move to the upward direction and uh, when we push the uh, lower button that should go to the lower most direction that we have to check now we will do the high stick part now it is the hoisting uh, the uh, he is uh, pressing this hoisting button now the hoist goes up this uh, hook is going up means direction is correct now he is doing this lowering operation Now, when he is pressing the lower, lower uh, lowering button, uh, then the hook goes down. That means our direction is correct. If the direction is reversed, we are if we are pressing the uh, hosting button and it is going down. If it is we are uh, pressing the lower button, it is going up. This is the wrong direction. And when it is the wrong direction, we have to change the phase sequence. That phase sequence can be changed from the main supply or it can be changed through the control panel where we have given the supply. 
we have r y b direction wires r y b in that case any two wires we interchange and will get the correct uh, direction and again we have to recheck that whether the direction is correct or not then next step will be we will check the limit switches that a top limit switch and the bottom limit switch when we are pressing up and your lower block is going up and the, that should uh, the, that uh, uh, gear rotary limit switch get operated that means the upper limit switch working then it is going uh, uh, downmost position in that case the, the limit switch is working that means your limit switch the gear rotary limit switch is uh, uh, that is set properly if you have the height of lift the less the you require the less height of lift in that case you have to adjust the gear rotary limit switch that get how to adjust the gear rotary limit switch that part will show